Order by order by chaos. Yeah, he should chaos and I know when he's not it's by me. Please one, please one. Matthew twenty two and fourteen. For many are called, but few are chosen. Alright, so you're gonna have a lot of them that hear about the end of Israel this, Israel that, Israel this. But it's only gonna be a few that are chosen. Right? It's only gonna be a few that are chosen. There's a plenty of brothers that come up here and be like, yeah, y'all keep doing what y'all doing, they stay five minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See, I told you we was this now, now they're going to get somewhere down the street to get drunk. You know what I'm saying? Not thinking about what's about to come. Or they trying to stack up money and get guns, thinking that's going to be their salvation. Peace out. All right, go ahead. I, I got two of them. I'm going to get the first one. You can't save yourself. And, it, and it's not even a... Slot real quick. Uh, when you said that all this is not a coincidence, it's not a coincidence that you're standing here right now. We were going to go to the Riverside. We were pulled over here. See what I'm saying? This is not a coincidence right here. This is the most high talking to you right now. Straight up. You need to be on this side, not on that side. You don't want to reap the, the rewards of the wicked. Because we might seem to be righteous because we know, but if we ain't out here working and showing our faith, what, 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 what are we proving? We're not hey, proving anything. I got a precept. Oh, let the bar go real quick. Okay, All right. This is, uh, I'm, I'm going to go straight to it. Right, so, yeah, go ahead. Then you, then yours, and the other one, right? All right. This is uh, St. John chapter 15. I'm going to start at verse uh, 15. It says, Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant know not what his Lord doeth. But I call you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Now check this out. How many times you've been in a situation where you might be able, you might have some money about to come in, or you might make a move, a big move, but if it's somebody you ain't messing with, you're like, yo, I ain't finna let this move in my game. I ain't gonna let him in with But if somebody that you trust, you go, hey, alright, this is what we need to do, this is what I'm gonna do. And that's what the most high doing with us. We just literally how shy. You're giving us some knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Once he when he sends and sent it to the heavens, he released the spirit among all men. So the wicked are gonna do wicked, and the righteous are gonna serve righteous. Alright, and this is part of our righteousness. We could uh, we could read all day, but if we don't go out here and spread the news, man, what 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 are we what are we doing? So how do, how do, how do, how do I get like y'all? How I get like y'all? What do you mean? You're already like us. You're I doing the same. You're going. To, you're following the same steps we follow. What is that? I just read it. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Eat every day. Uh, yeah. I need, I need to pray more. I need to pray more. <laughs> yeah. Pray more. Now you. Now you have the name. So watch how things start to change when you start praying in the true name. Watch how people act. Yeah, watch out people at. Yeah, you got to, that's why you got to. What's that like right there? I've been seeing that a lot. Like, where, 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 where. It's the name of the Heavenly Father, Nashua Kadash. That's Paleo Hebrew. Yeah, it's on that piece of paper. And it's it, 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 it his name? Yeah, that's his name. That's how you say it. That's how you say the Heavenly Father's name. Mm. Oh, yeah, how? <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got one more verse. Yeah, yeah. that's very <laughs> logical. Where, where your friend went? Uh, where right. your friend went? Yeah. It's when you eat. Ooh, <laughs> you eat. You eating right now. You're trying to pull you away. But look, remember what the scripture says. Yeah. It says, Henceforth I call you not servant, for the servant know not what his Lord doeth. But I call you friends for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Ooh. Your friend went to go eat. The Lord is trying to tell you I'm your friend. Yo, yeah, he, 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 right. He's right. He's yeah, I was hungry for you. You're right. He ain't thinking about that. Right. The mind is something, man. The mind is something. I don't even think about that right now. When he was talking about words, I just yeah, you gotta catch be it. My first time brother. And the first gesture you made when you were walking past y'all walking, y'all walking together, and you started slowing up when you heard us. Right, and then he turned around and said, come on, man, let's go. He said, man, fuck yeah, that. Right, right, right. I right, right. 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 What it say? Right. Why was Job such a righteous right. man? Because he assured away evil. He knew that was wicked for him trying to pull you away from him. He knew it wasn't for him. He knew it was, he, he didn't want you to get salvation. He didn't, they don't want us to have salvation, bro. Huh, because it says, your own He went out to, he, he a Puerto Rican, he, 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 and I'm, I'm but trying to tell him. But two thirds of our people are going to be, Puerto Rican don't kill. Yeah, he could be two thirds. Right, uh, verse 16, back in St. John chapter 15, verse 16, it says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit shall remain, and that whatsoever ye shall ask of my Father in my name, he may give it you. And you don't know what might happen. You're going to be studying, studying, studying. He could pop into your house and be like, man, all right, man, what is this you study? Boom. It's all about timing. Right now is your time. If it's meant for him, it might not be his time just yet. Right, you gotta be an example. 
you have Shoot, to be come the on, example. Come on, you be that example. You be that light. You can't Brown. take a light. A candle hide it up under a bushel, man. You got to exhort yourself. You got the YouTube pages right there. You got the Apostle's YouTube page. That's your start. Now you have to quit. This is the platform. Now you come out here. When we, come, we come out here every Saturday. Come mm -hmm. every Saturday and take notes. Leave a, leave, a, leave, leave, leave a message on the comment board like, hey, where y'all going to be at this Saturday? We'll let you know. Come out, take notes. Let you know you have all the garments right here with me. You know? Gone. If I may add on, too, I bet you were probably look like before. You were like, man, we need more brothers out here teaching this truth. I you got, know what I'm saying? Two, three. Uh, I'll be trying to, and I got another another friend. I just found out he on that. I'll be, uh, my friend, uh, his name Thomas. His name Thomas David. Kind of Thomas David. I got a friend named Brandon Boy. They on that. They, they, um, they, they want to be in like Another friend, uh, and they, they all, they all want to be in it. Hey, I got a scripture for you, man. Yes, sir. I got a scripture for you. What? Matthew, uh, Matthews chapter 13, verse 13. It says, Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing, see not, and hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing, ye shall see, and shall not perceive. All right. So you saw that this was spiritual, but your friend might not see it. You feel me? He might. It might be meant for order to happen for you to come into it. Then, huh? see that? But if you never take that step. You think he gonna take that step? He just proved it that he won't. No. You gonna answer him? I'll wait a second. Go ahead. <laughs> it's me again. Hey, you can speak, you know, do your thing. Speak, um, this is what I say to you. <laughs> your friends, hey, you know, your friends are your friends. Right. And you speak to them when you acknowledge them. Yeah. But don't let them pull your feet. That's the, that's the issue. You can say, hey, what's up, brother? All right, one second. But you let them know you're a man and your feet don't move. When they move, you say something. Or when the Lord says something. All right? Check this out. One more for you. It says, for this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. And their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, see the prophecies happening, and hear with their ears, hear this truth, and should understand, like you understand, with their heart. This is your heart right here, not here. And should be converted, converted to the truth from being a Gentile, right? And I should heal them. So the Lord don't want to heal certain people. He only healing what? 144,000 men, one third. The scripture say, Blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men, Moses, all the people of the past, Peter and them, they wanted the, they wanted the kingdom to come 2,000 years ago. Right? But now, we get to see the prophecies happening. We're seeing the RFID chip get put. We're seeing missiles get created on a mass scale. We see World War III breaking out, right? We're seeing the prophets set up teaching. This is all prophecy. Revelation 11, chapter 11. It says, um, For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. This is the point. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. So now that you heard this truth, now that you heard this truth, you got to make sure your friends, your family don't pluck this word out of your mind. Get you to think that it's not happening. You know what I mean? They ain't checking it. You, now you know your friends. You know they ain't reading. You know they ain't studying. But they got, they're going to tell you what's what. Alright? We got proof. We doing our, our study. The scriptures say study, is, study to show thyself approved. A workman that should not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Alright? I ain't wanna, I ain't wanna, I ain't wanna. I ain't wanna. This is uh, Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. It says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Alright, so now, it's not even, it's not about, about, um, 
like, see, like, so, so, so the camera could, the mic could pick up, um, what we're saying. He's asking me to lift my voice up. It's not talking about that type of hearing. Meaning, understand. Blessed he that hears, that, read it again. It says, blessed is he that read it, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. They that hear the words of these prophecies. Now, they understand what's going on. So we're out here saying, like, he didn't hear. The friend that he might hear it later on, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not the one to judge like who's, who's gonna make it, who's not. He might hear it later on, but now you're hearing it. Like you're saying, oh, who tell you the RFID chip is the mark of the beast? I got it. Yep, I kind of thought that anyway. See how, see how, you know what I'm saying? That seed was dropped on you, and it was already there marinating. All you just needed was confirmation, and that's what he's giving you today. Just confirmation. Yeah, that's great. And you, you're already, you already been reading. And what do you say? Well, now I, I got something. I'm gonna read a little bit more. You know, because sometimes when you don't have a certain level of understanding, you, you kind of wait around so you can get it. Now you have to come. You really got. You really got to go go gym in your pockets with those with those um the um the little flyer with the um YouTube pages oh, on it. Like I'm gonna get on that. I'm gonna get on that. I'm gonna, I was already on the YouTube. I was gonna look at some other people too. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get on the album when I get. Yeah, get come on. that Lions and Page has every lesson that we taught out here on the street, and it has personal um sit down lessons from the elders. I don't know, look better. Yeah, D-Ray. And it's a beautiful thing. This is why we do this. We don't do this for a whole bunch of people to be standing around. You know what I'm saying? We do this for individuals like you that are really sincere, bro. You, you showed your sincerity by sitting here this long time. Like, your stomach growling and everything. You're like, man, fuck your stomach. Like, damn. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that. Because this, this is the real food. You're eating right now, man. It's such a blessing, man. That just shows your worth too. Cause like he read, he read, he read, he read. I have, I, you haven't chosen me. I chose you. The most I chose you, bro. He chose you to be standing here right now. Huh? Look at all these people walking past, not even paying attention. But he made you stop. That means you have a purpose. My, all right. My, my you sheep, have a calling. My right. sheep hear my voice. You have, you have a precept. Two talking. or more gather them in, in, in my name. I'm in the midst of it. So Yahweh shot in the midst of us, and the angels documented this, 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 this presence present day and everything that's going on. That's right. To mark you or mark you for to mark you for sin or to mark you for wicked. Right to wait. To mark you, man. What's that good choice? Nah, I didn't say it. I said, yeah, two or more <coughs> gather. The scripture says, two or more gather in my name. I've heard that before. I'm going to miss it. Even when he got one friend with Jesus Christ. Nothing. Sorry, sir. Sorry about that. No, you cool. Nah. You know? Yeah. 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 To mark you either with what? To mark you for sin? Like a bullshitter? Or to mark you for to be one of his children to be saved. That's what you're getting right now. You're getting marked. You know, you're gonna get the mark of the Tawa, or you're gonna get the mark of judgment. You get the Karagma mark. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the what? Mark of If you don't get this truth, the Lord gonna set you up to get that. That's what I'm saying. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't get this truth, Karagma. Karagma, that's how you say it in the Greek. Mark. But now, if you don't get in this truth, bottom line, man, you're going to perish. Revolution. Straight up. I, I got a oh, revolution. Right, brother. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30. I'm going to start at verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death. So the Lord set, he, he set before you life and death. It says, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both thou and thou seed may live, that thou mightest love the Lord Yahweh by Shinyahu Shah thy God, and that thou mightest obey his voice, and that thou mightest cleave unto him, for he is thy life and the length of thy day, that thou mightest dwell in the land which the Lord Yahweh swore sworn no swear unto thy father, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give them. So this this day have been record uh, against you. Whether you choose life or death, by you listening and, 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 and hearing the words and, and, and let it sink, all right, the Lord is going to give you a gift of increase, all right, because by you choosing life, you're going to live, get salvation. If you choose death and you, and you despise the men of the Lord and you don't, you, you knock that off, all right, you going, you know what I'm saying, you'll be, the Lord might have it to where you get the chip and get destroyed, you know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 it's everything. Well, he controlled. Romans 11 and 7. Yahweh should now everything. Yeah, man. All you got to choose him by it's so early. He said, seek me early while I may be found. Because someday we're not going to be out here teaching. Yeah. You know? Romans 11 and 7.
Uh, let's get that part of Brother Ruffin. I know you got it. <laughs> this Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it, and the rest were blinded. So the rest were blinded. Only a few is going to attain this wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And two thirds of our people, the Lord blinded them. Right, I got that. All right. God. This is Zechariah, God. chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, there of Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So two parts of the, uh, of the, of the children of Israel, all right, that don't, they don't choose life. They're going to be cut off and die. But they're going to be come back in the kingdom in their right mind. But the third part shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. That's that, uh, uh, what's that, um, uh, the rock. Chapter 2? God. I get it. All right, you're going to refine it that silver is refined, and I will try them okay. as gold is tried. Con, so, so the Lord is going to, he's going to, the, only the remnant, the one-third women and children and the 144,000 men, they're going to be saved. That's right. All right? And that, that he's going to refine us with uh, uh, silver is being refined. We're going to go through that, uh, that burnish of adversity. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. God, so call on his name. So knowing the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh, his son's true name, Yahweh shot is very important. Right. So whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord should be saved. Right, man. What was that next one? Uh, Sirach. Yeah, yeah get that. Sirach too? Oh, I got it. Start at one, go to straight to the point. Uh, what you want? You want to start at one or you want to go straight to the point? I started one. This is chapter two, verse one. It says, "My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright, and constantly endure. Make not haste in the time of trouble." God, so the Lord said, "Prepare thy soul for temptation, because we're going to go through adversity. All right, by by you suffering for righteousness' sake, it's a reward for." You. All right, so the Lord said we're supposed to take it cheerfully. All right, it says, Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. So you cleave unto him. Like, like the scripture just we read previously in Deuteronomy chapter 30. All right, the Lord said cleave unto him because that is life. All right, to disobey and not cleaving unto him is death. It says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. So when you're going through adversities, I ain't right, going through infirmities, I right, hell, are right, we supposed to take it cheerfully and still constantly cleave unto the Lord. All right? Keep going, brother. It says, the Sirach 2 and 5, for gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. All right? And that fire is, is the tribulation that we go through. But the Lord said he's going to make a man more precious than fine gold. The ones that trust upon him and wait upon him. All right? He's going to renew your strength. Man, you look like a lion right now, man. All right? Right. Because once you come into this truth, the world going to turn against you. Come on. They're already against you. It's just once you really choose your side and you ain't kind of, you know, playing both sides of the fence because you're still figuring out life. Once you choose and stand your ground, everybody going to be against you. Ooh. In some senses, you know, you're still going to be able to operate and communicate and get jobs and do what you got to do. Everyday basic, you know, communication. But they're going to be against you. Spirit. Precept. You know, that's, that's the word holy. The word holy means separate. Okay, All right. Go ahead, brother. I got right. All right. So now, if the world is doing its job, right? Standing up for itself. This society is doing its job standing up for itself, right? So with the lies and stuff, everything that's being pushed out in this room, right? That's promoting death. We're here to promote life. And you can you say I can see it in your spirit. You want to know how to do that. Right? <laughs> this is promoting life. Let me read the scripture real quick. This is um, Proverbs 18 and 21. It says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the